the blessing of holy matrimony. Family and friends, through your presence here today, you are demonstrating your support of this union and your blessings upon both Sarah and Josh. Sarah and Josh, a minister doesn't marry you. You are truly married to your own commitment <coughs> to one another. And it is the deep love, trust, and understanding within you both that really blesses you in this marriage. Josh and Sarah met at work six years and six months ago. About a year into their workplace friendship, they decided to go on a motorcycle date to the zoo. They enjoyed each other so much that Josh agreed to go on a second date with Sarah to the opera. <laughs> That's true love. Their mutual love of nature, animals, and rural life culminated in their buying this lovely home here and property, eight acres, about four years ago. In asking both of them what first attracted them to one another, Sarah answered, quote, there was an electric feeling between us. Josh is so open and a beautiful balance of a man who loves motorcycles and who can turn around and go to the opera. We were able to have spiritual conversations from the very beginning, end quote. Similarly, Josh responded, the openness in our conversation meant so much to me right away. He went on to say, really everything about Sarah attracted me. She lets me be me. She doesn't judge me on what I do or don't do. And Sarah summed up the lives they share now in the following way. Quote, I'm amazed every single day. I'm so happy to get up at 6.30 a.m., clean the animals' pens, and fix breakfast. It's a perfect way to start the day. <laughs> and so, so what a beautiful foundation Josh and Sarah have created to build their marriage upon. Jennifer, there you are. Will you please come forward at this time? And she's going to share with us a reading called What is Loving? Sooner or later, we begin to understand that love is more than verses in a valentine and romance in the movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, and the most important thing in our lives. <coughs> For love is the creator of our favorite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. Love is never fades, the mysterious and magical joy is the greatest treasure of all, one known only by those who love. <laughs> so Sarah dear, will you please give your bouquet now to Kira? So Sarah and Josh, do as you are, please turn and face each other, hold your hands. And as you look at each other, be aware of the touch of your hands and reflect on these words. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. That will work alongside yours as together, together to build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through all the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when challenges appear in your life. These are the hands that will keep your families close. These are the hands that give you strength and courage when you need it. These are the hands you will hold in laughter and gratitude. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. 
time now to pledge your vows to each other. Josh and Sarah are exchanging vows that they each have personally written. So please remain as you are, holding hands. And we'll begin with you, Josh. Carolyn, Miss Kay, I not only give you my heart, but I also give you my vows. I promise to be your lover, your companion, and your best friend. I promise to laugh with you, loving you faithfully through good times and bad. I promise that I'll always be by your side. Here is my hand, my heart, and my life. incredible it is to love you and to be loved by you. My intention for this marriage is for us to continue growing together and opening our hearts to one another. I look forward to every moment of what I wish and all of life's challenges. I also look forward to sharing with you and listening to you even when you're not people. symbols of vows you have just made. We see that the ring always comes back to itself in an endless circle of love, just as you will always return to each other as your place of support and unconditional love. These rings are blessed by your love and commitment to one another, forever an outward symbol of your sacred vows. And these particular rings have a unique history. Sarah and Josh commissioned Don Mioto, a jewelry artist, to create their rings. And both rings were made from the same stone and are a combination of something called chrysocolla and a coma jet, for all you geologists out there. Native Americans actually use both the chrysocolla and a coma jet as healing stones and use them to strengthen the body's immune system and to bring calmness to one's spirit very worthy to have as you get married. These uh, stones were actually found on the Acoma Indian Reservation in New Mexico. So again, Josh, we will begin with you. Please take Sarah's ring and place it on the third finger of her left hand as you repeat these words after me. Beloved Father, Mother, God, witness to every true marriage and sealer of every spiritual union, we invoke your blessings on Sarah and Josh. We give thanks that you are with them always and in all ways. Your presence within both Sarah and Josh is their constant source of guidance, of health, prosperity, and fulfillment on all levels. With your support, Lord, may they create a home of such joy that no one who enters will be a stranger. Enable them to love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and with common sense, with sensitivity and gentle reminders of what they've given themselves and each other in this holy bond, which they have allowed all of us here to witness. We thank you for blessing each of us here today, Lord, and we pray these words in the name and through the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
So marriage is not only a coming together of the bride and groom. Marriage also unites the family. Mothers represent the nurturing and love of the family for their children. You did a good job catching her.